constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. In 2009, with funds from the government of Iran, Duma Oya multi-purpose development project was initiated to deliver water to the dry zone of the country and to generate electricity alongside as well. As the project progressed, 7,037 houses in the area witnessed cracks. The area, meanwhile, dried up severely, resulting in the protest and hartal this morning. Shops and day-to-day -day activities in the town of Bandara Villa came to a standstill. People from several villages in the surrounding areas of Bandara Villa also participated at the event. <laughs> The private bus owners too joined the Hatal and protest today. Meanwhile, traffic in Badula Colombo main road completely came to a standstill with the protest occurring in the middle of the city. No vehicular traffic managed to pass through the city. Accordingly, Badula Colombo main road, Bandaravela Ampitya road, Bandaravela Valimada road and Bandaravela Diyatalava road were completely blocked. One of the main requests by the protesters were that President Maitri Pala Sirisena to visit the area. We have named this the Black Hartal of the Eastern Hills. All the shops are closed down today. Schools and courts are closed. We didn't come today to hold the struggle. Rulers destroyed the wells, houses and the hills for commissions. We request the president to visit Bandar Vela within five days. He should see the damage done. We will stay here until three this morning and unless the promise is made, we will not stop. Meanwhile, back in Colombo, at the media briefing to announce cabinet decisions, Minister Das Rijasekar announced the position of the government on the matter. Ministers Mahinda Maravira, Champika Ranavaka, Vijit Vijit Muni are appointed to look into the matter. This project commenced under Iranian aid by the previous government. There is a huge debt to be paid. The cabinet will take a decision after discussing it with the people. Meanwhile, Minister Harin Fernando, prior to a media briefing by him on the matter, called President to inform him about the protest. After that, subsequent to discussions, he took steps to relate back to the protesters of the decision taken by the President. As I always say, I will stand against the government if this is not done properly. Meanwhile, UMP parliamentarian Chamila Vijay Siri took steps to inform the protesters as to what Minister Harin Fernando has promised to do to solve the matter. However, the protesters rejected the claim and requested they need an assurance from the President and not from ministers. Amid the saga, tense situation arose when the police attempted to arrest two individuals who tried to create chaos. <laughs> Later, the duo escaped by a car. Protesters also blocked the upcountry railway line, specifically the Podimanike train, which was on its way towards Badula from Colombo. According to our reporters, the riot police had to be deployed to control the situation. After much discussion, the secretary to the governor of Uwa province, H.M. Somaltilaka, approached the protesters and declared the promise made by the president, following which the protest was called off. A discussion on the difficulties the locals have to face because of the Uma Oya project will be held at the president's residence on the 30th of June at 6 o'clock.